Hello and welcome to this episode of Sunday Special. I am Raghav and today I want to share a very personal experience with you and uh, this is something that happened long long ago and I want to share it with you because I believe this will be very relevant today. So this is something that happened with me several years back. I was working as an automation architect into one of the organizations and I was uh, testing APIs. I was creating an automation framework to test APIs and I was using SOAP UI and these were the SOAP uh, web services that I was testing. Now people who are into API testing and know what are APIs will can relate very easily but I still will tell you exactly what happened. So in APIs or in SOAP APIs to be specific, there is a URL which is the service or the WSTL and using that URL you can actually get all the requests and all the response structure and everything of the APIs into that service. And this is just a URL that you can add to the automation tool or any API testing tool like SOAP UI and you will get all the requests generated. Now, whenever there is any change from the backend, like the developers make any change to the APIs, some new parameters get added or deleted, then you have to update your uh, web service or update the WSTL URL or refresh it so that you can get all the changes. In case of SOAP UI, whenever you right click on the URL or the WSTL, there is a option called update definition when you click that it will regenerate all the requests from the backend and if there are any changes done you will get all the latest changes now i had created a automation framework on soap ui with all the scripts and it was all running fine very smooth we used to run automation before every release in every regression cycle and after every change and everything was going fine now uh, we had not or i had not added a feature to automatically update the definition from the backend and it happened once that there were some changes and because the update was not done manually in the SOAP UI automation framework we could not get the latest changes and all the tests passed and the code was deployed into production and it broke into production the functionality failed and it was a great blunder and then uh, we came to know that what we tested was all the old functionality and old setup the actual latest changes that were done were not actually tested and this was a very very big thing because we were highly dependent on automation for releasing any code to the production and we were completely dependent on automation and i was the only person who was doing automation then so it was really a great mistake and then it was decided that you know i have to create some features some scripts which will automatically update the wstl and get all the latest changes from backend automatically before every automation run now this was long back and soap ui was not a very old tool then and there were not a lot of online help available online resources and forums were not so great that time so i had a very very hard time in finding some help on this particular feature how to create a script or create a feature that can automatically update the WSTL definition and manually it was very easy we just have to right click and you know click a button and we could do it before running every automation run but we did we wanted to have it done automatically and have it inside the automation framework and this was a very difficult time and at one moment it felt that you know this is something very difficult and i may not be able to do this but then i decided i was the only one responsible so i decided that whatsoever happens even if i have to go into the backend code of soap ui and read and understand each and every line i will do that but whatever whatsoever happens i am going to do this and you know when you uh, decide that you have to do something whatsoever happens you have actually won 50 percent of the battle and you may find it very funny but i actually wrote on a piece of paper that uh, even if i die tomorrow i do not care the only thing that i want to complete before I die is to add this feature and create this particular automation feature. And then I with full focus and full energies, I started on creating that script and finding all possible help. And after a long time, I actually found some help which was slightly related to what I was trying to automate and taking that help from online resources. And after adding my own code, 
I was actually finally able to achieve that and it was such a great achievement and I was so 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 very happy. Today I get so many messages and emails and comments every day where people tell me that they are stuck on some particular issue and they want to give up and it is very difficult and I always feel that you know if you have the will if you have the commitment whatsoever happens you will be able to do it and today we are so for so fortunate that we have so much online help available and all that is available for free and there are so many resources available online so i just want to say that this is a very very true saying that where there is a will there is a way whenever you are stuck somewhere be confident go with your complete focus and try to do whatever possible take out some very focused time and say that you know whatsoever happens i am just going to do this particular thing and this is what i have to get this done and then you will see you will get it done so with that i just want to stop here and i just want you to take the learnings from my personal experience and apply it whenever you are stuck into automation or anywhere in your life and i hope this will help you and I will meet you next Sunday. Thank you for watching.